pronounce your full name and spell it for us, please? Dolores Ganador, and I use the middle initials, little, middle initial C, because there's three other Dolores Ganadors. Dolores Scanador, D E L O R E S S K E N A N D O R E. And you use the middle initial C? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And where were you born, Dolores? Near, well, right near where I live, uh, on Tip Road. Okay. We were, it was, there were 12 of us in the family, and, and 10 of us were all born at home. So, uh, yeah, it, would be, it was the route to the pier then. Now it's railroad. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And what was the date of your birth? March 21st, 1927. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what was the name of your parents? <coughs> Anderson and Lillian Cornelius. What was your, <coughs> your mother's maiden name? <coughs> Wheelock. It really Wheelock. wasn't. She was, she, was, she was adopted. She was really uh, Lillian Paulus. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Okay. And did your <clears throat> on your father's side did you know uh who who his parents were? Are their yes. names? Mm hmm The mother's name was Melissa and the father was Isaac. It's not the Melissa that uh, you yeah. know. <laughs> did she have a maiden uh, do you know what her maiden name was? I think it was Stevens. Stevens? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you go back any further than that? No, that's the uh, that's it, huh? That's as far as I can go. Okay. And yeah. on your mother's side who were her parents? Uh <coughs> Mason Wheelock and Christine adopted her, so that's who she considered her parents. Christine, what was her maiden name? I think she was a Stevens. Oh, I'm not okay. sure, about, but I think that it was a you Stevens. You don't know who the Paulus part was? Our, her mother was Rachel Paulus. Rachel Paulus? Rachel Paulus. Oh, okay. That's as far as I can go on that. Okay. Uh, she didn't ever know her mother, and she didn't want to. She just... When she, she found out she was adopted about when she was about 12 years old, mm -hmm. and she just hated her mother. She never liked her, and she never admitted that she was a uh, Paulus until, goodness sake, she had kids and everything. Uh, I must have been married uh, when oh, she really? just now told me that I am um, <coughs> was adopted, you know, but mm -hmm. we didn't know any better we were Mason and... Christine were always our grandparents. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. You didn't know her real mother then at all? No, no not at all. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Did both of your um, grandparents speak Oneida? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. They spoke it fluently in the mm -hmm. home? Yeah. Did they ever talk about uh, their education, if they had to go away to school or anything? Oh, yeah. My uh, father went to school at uh, Carlisle. Uh-huh. And he went with Jim, at the same time Jim Thorpe was there. Okay. But my dad couldn't play very long because he broke his back. And broke his back? How broke did his he back do that? Playing football. Oh. So he wasn't a very big man and he got hurt and uh, so he could never really play but he saw Jim Thorpe play a lot. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. He said he always looked like he was happy what he was doing. And my mother went to school at... Um, in, you know where the cemetery? She said there was a schoolhouse up there in the cemetery. Oh, and okay. uh, that's where the she Methodist went to school. The Methodist cemetery. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, she said there was a school there, and that's oh. where she went for about five years. <coughs> so that was her limit of education. Oh, okay. Yeah. What about your grandparents? Do you know if they went away to school at all? They went to some Indian school, but I, I don't know any more than that. Oh, okay. But they always talked about how they couldn't talk the Oneida language or. Yeah. They would be really strapped to really get a good looking for talking Oneida language. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yeah. But you don't remember where they went? Huh? No. Mm -mm. Oh. Just to Indian schools. That's, a, that's yeah. all they always said, you know, the Indian schools. Indian schools? schools? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And did your, <coughs> did your, <coughs> your grandfather have any sisters and brothers? Our grandfather, <coughs> yeah, he had Mary. Oh, you mean... Uh, your grandfather. Oh, no, I don't know. What about your father? Did he have sisters and brothers? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, he had uh, sis two sisters for sure, Marion and Rose, and brothers were Philip, Wilson, 
Joel. I don't think there was a Joshua, but I don't know uh, what happened to him. Oh. He was never around here. Did you know your mother's sisters and brothers at all? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Who were they? Josephine Webster and Mary Wheelock. And the brothers were, uh, I can't think of his name. He used to be a preacher at the Assembly of God Church going towards uh, Seymour. Wheelock? Wheelock. Uh, Foster. Foster. Foster okay. Wheelock. That was her brother? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, there was a Kaiser, and uh, can't think of the other ones. This as far as I, much as I can remember. Okay, <coughs> boy, it's something in my throat. Hmm, is this your water here? No, that's your water. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you remember uh, when you were growing up, where you um, went to school at? Oh yeah, we went. We started out at the Seventh Day Adventist School, Elmi and I. We went uh, for, there for two years, and then we went to Elm Hill. We went there for two more years, and then she sent us back to Seventh Day Adventist School because Elm Hill was too far. And we, if we cut across, we'd have to cut across the uh, Little Creek, and it got really high in the spring of the year. You know, and she oh. thought it was too dangerous. So we went back to Seventh-day Adventist school and we graduated from the Seventh-day Adventist school. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And how far did their grades go? To the eighth grade. To the eighth mm -hmm. grade? Yeah. And then where did you go to school from there then? After we graduated, we went to, uh, it was called Nicolet High School then in De Pere. Uh huh. We went there for two years, Elmi and I. And then uh, we got impetigo. People were getting impetigo at that time. And we got it, and we was in our hands really bad, and uh, they made us drop out of school. So we did for two months. And then when we went back, they said it wasn't cleared up enough. They said, wait for two more weeks. So we, we never did go back. So you, that was the end of your school mm -hmm. then? Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. But mm -hmm. that was Nicolay's West of Pier now. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you have sisters and brothers? Oh, yeah. Could you give us their names? Oh, there's 12 of them. There's Ella's the oldest, and I'm the second one, Dolores. Then Harrison, Lincoln, Frank, Leonard, Clarence, Eleanor, and then there was two babies, Lillian, Pauline, and Melvin, that died when they were only like 10 or 12 days old. Okay. And then uh, Ben and, and Josie. They were born in the hospital. <laughs> oh, okay. Otherwise, the rest of us were born at home. Do you, mm -hmm. um, are they all living now? The, no. Besides the little ones that died? No, Ella May died about six years ago. And uh, Lincoln died when he was only 26 years old. It was in 57. Oh, what did yeah. he die from? Heart. Heart? Heart problems. So. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But he was only 26 years old. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you're married now? Oh, yes. Uh huh. And who are you married to? Zach Scanadar. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you have children? Mm hmm. I had four. Uh, Ron, Zachariah Ronald, was uh, 48 and he died. And he's, he had cancer, uh, bone marrow cancer. Oh, okay. And El Norma's uh, alive. And. Uh, Timmy died, and he was only five years old. He had a brain tumor. Oh. Okay. And uh, Ted's alive. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's just all so I you have. have two children living. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Do they live in the Oneida area? Yeah. You might as well say Norma lives with me. <laughs> she has a home in Green Bay, but she's uh, not there too often because she stays with me most of the time. Oh, and, that's good. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, they t Ted, they take turns because <coughs> I don't want to be alone at night. Oh, yeah. And uh, so they, <coughs> they both work, so mm -hmm. they stay with me at night. They take turns. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Where do they work? Well, uh, Ted works at June Hinkwell, you know, where they have mm -hmm. the herbs and stuff. And Norma works at the motor vehicle department. She's been there for going on 26 years. Oh, that, is mm -hmm. that the Wisconsin State mm -hmm. Motor Vehicle Department? Yeah, it's in Eshwabnan. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. She's been there how many years? Almost 26. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. 
And what is your church affiliation? Oneida Methodist. Oneida Methodist? Mm -hmm. It's always okay. been, yeah. Okay. My folks too and my grandparents, okay. they all, all belong to the Methodist what church. What was the date of your marriage to Zach? 1950, October of 1950. October? October of 1950. Do you remember the date? In 28. Mm -hmm. The 28th? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, of 1950. And was that at the Methodist church? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was after the church was burnt down. So we were married in the hall there. <laughs> oh, okay. But, uh, yeah. Do you, and your parents, you said, uh, spoke Oneida? Mm-hmm. Did mm -hmm. any of your children speak Oneida? Well, Ted's trying to learn, and Norma is trying to learn, you know, the classes there around Oneida. They go there, and uh, they all, they're always asking me, because I can understand it, but I can't talk it. Uh -huh. But if I hear it, I know it. And... Uh, but my kids don't talk it that great, <laughs> but they're trying. Yeah. Did mm -hmm. any of your brothers and other brothers and sisters speak it? Yeah, they uh, just a little bit, though not that much. Harry's the best at that, and Ella May could talk too. And, <coughs> but we sang a lot of Indian songs. They know all the Indian songs, uh -huh. and uh, Benny knows some, and Leonard knows quite a bit too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he's pretty good. Of the language, mm -hmm. he can speak it pretty good. Pretty good, and Harry's the best, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh -huh. He doesn't think so, but I think he's a lot better than, <laughs> than some. So. What did your uh, father do? He was a mason, but he did mostly odds and ends because it was a depression, and there weren't many jobs, so he did just about everything, cherry picking, cranberries, and we always grew, uh, like, uh, Beans, green beans for uh, Larson's mm -hmm. and Seymour and uh, cucumbers too for the companies. But uh, he worked for farmers, and like my brothers, they all worked for the farmers around us. So, did you, uh, <clears throat> did your uh, parents have uh, any uh, land, like a small farm or anything? Yeah, they had a, lot, a small farm that uh, their. Grand, my dad's parents gave to them, and it must have been about, about five acres that they used to plant everything on. And then afterwards, uh, in I was about ten years old when they uh, bought some land on. It's called um, Tip Road now, and mm -hmm. uh, they bought ten acres there. Dad got a bonus from World War One. Oh, okay. And uh, they bought land over there, ten acres. And everything was full of plants. <laughs> we had strawberries and raspberries and apple trees and plum trees. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. And mom cans. She canned in the hundreds, of course. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. So we all had to help. And so you had plenty of food. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. You said your, uh, <clears throat> your father was in World War I? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. you went and over what to branch France. of the service was he in? Army. In the Army? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he mm -hmm. went to France? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you yeah. remember what year he was discharged? No. No? Mm -hmm. You don't remember the no. years at mm -hmm. all? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then they got a, they got a bonus from yeah. the World War I veterans? Mm -hmm. oh. I don't know how much it is, but uh, right away they bought that It was enough to land. buy the property. Yeah. Uh -huh. So do they still, do you, is the property still in the family at yeah. today? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, Benny, we almost everybody gave their their share to Benny because we all had our own places already. Uh huh. So we let most of us let Benny have it. Otherwise, uh, Harry want Harry wanted some too. So he got the homestead in the house. Oh, okay. Uh huh. And uh, then the rest were divided up amongst those kids. But we all had our own place, so we gave it to to Benny. To Ben. Yeah. Is that taxable land? Then? No. No. There is a small portion that's taxable that was Ella's. Oh. And she was always going to come back here and build a house there. Well, hers was an acre. Uh-huh. And so that's, there's an acre that's taxable. Is the rest of it all in trust then? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Is that individual trust or tribal trust? I think it's uh, individual. Where it belongs to the family. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. individual then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. oh, okay. Harry oh, owns nice. his own place and... Benny owns his own place. Oh, so. okay. Mm -hmm. So how much acreage altogether do they have there then? Well, there's about nine then because LMA had just LMA an acre. LMA has one? Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. 
Well, that's nice. It's mm -hmm. good to hear. Did, did your parents practice any uh, cultural traditions that you were mm -mm. aware of? Mm -mm. No. They said that's why we moved out from uh, New York, because we wanted to get away from traditional stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, but as you know, it's all around again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What uh, kind of holidays do you remember? Oh, they all were good holidays. Uh, we didn't have much money, but, <laughs> but uh, we always had a nice celebration, like for Christmas and Easter and, you know, Thanksgiving, you know. It was what did you big... do at those holidays? Oh, for, for Christmas, everybody got one gift, not like nowadays. Every kid got, gets a house full of toys. <laughs> but we only got one thing. And I always wanted a doll. I got my one doll every year. And uh, the boys always got little trucks or little cars. And Elmi, most of the time, she got a book. Oh. Yeah, she, she, but the rest of us, we were all happy for, for Christmas. My dad used to go into the woods and cut a Christmas tree and bring it home and build a stand. And that was a lot of fun when Christmas, we'd all uh, go to church with my dad and mom would stay home and trim the Christmas tree. Oh. And stayed home with the baby, or whoever was the youngest. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we always went to church. And <clears throat> most of the time we took part in a church celebration at church, singing and in you know, Christmas plays. Mm -hmm. But it was a nice time. So was your growing up years, uh, a lot of your time was spent at church then? Quite a bit. Yeah, Sunday was uh, a holiday. Uh -huh. And yeah, so we... we uh, we couldn't sew or anything. <laughs> Otherwise, my dad and mother both sewed a lot. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, your dad sewed? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. We never had bought in, uh, you know, snow pants or anything like that. My dad made them all. Oh. Even jackets and stuff like that. Yeah. And she made most of the blankets and dresses for us girls and hmm. stuff like that. That's interesting. Yeah. But your dad was a seamstress. Yes, he sure was. He was a good seamstress. Huh? Uh, did you ever work outside the home? Oh, yeah. And what did you do? Oh, I did everything. I worked on the horseradish farm. I don't know if you remember the horseradish mm -hmm. farms. Yeah. Yeah, I worked there, and I hoed a lot for Larson Canyon yeah. Company. When I was pretty young, too. I must have been about 10, 12 years old when I was doing that. Uh-huh. And uh, Seymour... Cannon Company, Larson Cabinet Company, and, and uh, besides babysitting, <laughs> there was a lot of that too. But I can't think what else. I I met your mother at uh, Larson's. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, she worked at Larson's too at one time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can't think of all. The, oh, and when I was young too, I worked at. Uh, St. Vincent Hospital is in oh. housekeeping. Uh huh. And uh, Elmi worked there too. Both Elmi and I and Sadie Wheelock were, we all went together and got a oh. job there. Yeah, it was, it was nice, especially because I got private rooms. Mm hmm. And so I got a lot of tips. Oh, and okay. Elmi and Sadie didn't like it because I was getting, you know, extra money. <laughs> 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 but I enjoyed it. Yeah. Mm hmm. Did you have, when you were growing up, did you, at home, did you have uh, electricity and running water? No, no. That was a big thing. We uh, <coughs> didn't have either uh, heat or running water. The, the water, I remember, we used to, for, for uh, washing, we had to walk across the road and over the fence into, uh, by the creek. There was a small creek going by there. And we, every day, we had to go and get water there from, for washing. And uh, the pump, we had a, we didn't have no water, so we got it from the neighbors, from Walter Broker and around. He was right around the corner oh, there. Oh, quite a ways then. Yeah, we had a, a walk over there, and and uh, we lived in a log house across from Walter Broker. Oh. You know where okay. Cheryl uh, Vandenberg is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's where we lived. Oh, you lived over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was thinking of the other place. Oh yeah, no, that was uh, the first. Uh, First house you lived in? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it was a log house. And we w walked to uh, Walter Brokers or Ira Cornelius 
or my Uncle Wilson's place to get drinking water. Mm -hmm. And that was an every, everyday chore too. Yeah, we, we had a lot, a lot to do to get water. And plumbing, we always had a, you know, outside toilet. <laughs> yeah. I guess that was common then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you didn't have no electricity either. Mm -hmm. What did you use for lights? Lamps. You had we lamps. always had lamps. Uh -huh. Okay. Kerosene lamps. Kerosene lamps? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Did your mother and dad ever talk about any kind of a... Um, herbs that they used for medicines or anything? Yeah. Mostly I remember number six and um, uh, catnip. Catnip? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah, I remember that. And when you got, when you got sick, uh, what, what did they do for you? Well, we always uh, used a lot of uh, Mentholatum, they called it, and Vicks. Oh, yeah. And uh, rubbing it on our chest when we had colds, and I remember mm -hmm. a lot of that. And uh, on our foreheads and nose. I still do use that, Vicks, <laughs> for that. I think we'll keep on doing that. Yeah, <laughs> that's an old faithful one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you ever have to go to a doctor or anything like that? Yeah, we uh, went to doctors from time to time in uh, Seymour. Oh, okay. Dr. Hitner, I think you remember him. Oh, okay. Him. Uh -huh. yeah. The Hitner we Clinic? There. Yeah, and then uh, Dr. Hill. Dr. Hill? Yeah, Dr. Hill. Mm -hmm. Okay. My mother liked her. She went to see her quite a bit for different little things with the babies especially. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have any grandchildren? Yeah. I, I've got uh, three actual grandchildren, Zach, J.D., and Taylor. And then I've got step-grandchildren. Step oh, okay. Yeah, I've got four step-grandchildren. Oh, what mm -hmm. are their names? They're uh, Shaske and Amanda, Stephanie, and Ryan. Seven. Oh, okay. Seven. Seven. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I never counted them before. <laughs> <laughs> now you know how many there are, right? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Do you remember doing anything special at, on New Year's? Oh yeah, we as kids when we were kids, we used to go yawning. We always looked forward to New Year's Day. You know what that is with like like uh, Halloween around here, you know, trick or treating. You know, mm -hmm. only it was always donuts. You know, most of the time, everybody gave you donuts or apples. You went to different people's houses. Oh yeah, we walked all the way down to Moss's store. <laughs> we went from house to house and went yawning. <laughs> But there was a whole bunch of us. I don't know. There must have been close oh, to really? 20 people. Oh, that yeah, many? Yeah, we oh. just kept gathering people as we, kids, as, you know, as we walked yeah. along the yeah. roads. So that was fun. <laughs> yeah. mm. Did your children, um, did they have um, opportunity to get a good education? Well, yes. Uh, they, all, they all did. Uh, Ron went to West of Pure High School, then he went to University of Stevens Point for four years, and then uh, Roma went to um, Oshkosh University. She just went uh, six months. She didn't like it. Oh, okay. And uh, Ted went to University by Green Bay, mm -hmm. but he only went uh, six months. And UWGB? Yeah, uh -huh. okay. and he didn't like it either. He had a hard time getting there, so he just dropped out. Mm -hmm. What do you remember about your um, school years growing up when you were real small, like grade school? Mm. I don't know. I think it was mostly practicing for the Christmas programs that they had for the Seventh-day Adventist school. And then uh, theirs was all you know, Christian-oriented at the Seventh-day Adventist school. And we used to, uh, when we went to Elm Hill School, we used to have a lot of practice at two, you know, Christmas mm -hmm. practice. That was fun. Then we always had a party there. That was always nice. What kind of work did your husband do? He worked in uh, the hospital. Um, oh, what do you call it? 
warehouse okay. for 32 years, same place. But on the, before he went, went there, he was working for Seymour Canning Company, and uh, he worked for Larson's part-time, too, so that was, but Green Bay Warehouse was his uh, steady job for 32 years. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Was he in the, was he ever in the service? Too? Oh, yeah. And what branch of the service was he? Air Force. He was in there for three years. In the Air Force? Mm hmm Okay. Yeah. Was that during World War II? World War II, yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Have you or uh, your parents or any of your family members that you know have been ever been involved with the tribal government? Just Frank, one brother. Okay. He was with the business community for a while. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what do you think about the Oneida land claim? Well, uh, I'm not too much up to date with what's going on, but I'm satisfied with what, <coughs> whatever happens. But um, I heard my folks talk about that from ever since I could remember, but I never thought it would be resolved. It's just something you talked about. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they used to call it a Kellogg's claim at first there <laughs> for a while. Kellogg's um, claim? Kellogg's claim. And oh my gosh, it's been around for ever since I don't know when. I'm 77 years old, and uh -huh. I, ever since I was just a little tyke, I could remember them talking about that. <laughs> Some lady would come to the house, you know, and ask for a donation, you know, she was going to uh, work for that Kellogg, they used to call it Kellogg's claim. <laughs> but uh, they'd, they'd ask for a donation? Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, and at that time nobody had money, so I don't know how much she collected. Because at that time, you know, my folks were lucky if they could give her coal. Do you a know quarter. what they used it for? No. No? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> that's all I can know, say is, I, you know, I heard about it. Yeah. That's all. What about the 52 cents? Did we used to get 52 cents. Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember that. Uh, I, I remember getting that. We was, us, mostly us kids, look forward to our 52 cents. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go and spend your 52 cents? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, remember when they used to give those uh, calico materials, too? No, I don't remember that. Yeah, that was a long time ago, too, before the 52 cents, I think. Oh. Yeah, they used to give material, and they used to call that the Calico Treaty. The Calico Treaty? Calico Treaty, yeah. They used oh. to give uh, uh, families, you know, small bolts of materials. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah that was a long time ago. Oh, too. I don't remember mm -hmm. that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll have to look into that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more about it. <laughs> um, Do you participate in any of the elderly programs? A little, very little. I can't get around that good anymore. I used to like to take all those bus trips and stuff that the senior citizens did, and I got to... Uh, See different places like Washington D.C. Mm -hmm. and and uh, I think it was uh, oh Kansas City. I, I enjoyed that. I liked uh, traveling, but on account of my health and then my husband too. You know he wasn't that well mm -hmm. for a long time, so I didn't get to go. But I wish I could. You know they've got nice things going. Mm -hmm. I even enjoyed the trips that they'd make in the fall to see the Christmas lights and all that, mm -hmm. too. I like that. And we'd always stop and have something to eat someplace along the way. That was always nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that was sponsored by the tribe? By the yeah, elderly program? Mm -hmm. by the elderly. Uh, I liked it. And I, I know it's still going on even more so, you know, than before, but mm -hmm. I just can't, just yeah. can't do it. Do you think that the tribe does enough for the elderly? I think so. I'm satisfied. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there anything that you can see that you that they might be doing that they're not doing? Not really. No, no I think that we're pretty well taken care of. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you utilize the health center? Oh yes. Uh huh. I don't know what I do without it. <laughs> really, I they pay for everything. You know, my yeah. especially my dialysis that would be so expensive. We, I wouldn't have anything if it wasn't for the tribe. And they pick so, up the dialysis treatment? Most some of it, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. so. 
And is your husband uh, well too, or? No, he's in a nursing home. Oh, he's in a nursing home. Yeah, he's home. been in there for over five years. Uh, he went into a diabetic coma and he was oh. never, never the same afterwards. He, uh, they said his uh, blood sugar was down to um, 10. And they said nobody lives when it's that low. Oh, really? Yeah. But uh, he was out for days, you know. He uh, couldn't move his hands. They were really tight against him. And his legs wouldn't move, you know. He was really, mm. couldn't do anything for a while. And he never wanted to live uh, on life support systems. Mm -hmm. But the doctor said uh, let him do it for a couple of days. Uh -huh. So I did, and he's still living. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Is he able to help himself a little bit? A little bit. Yeah. But he needs help in almost everything, even eating, you know. So. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. And he knows you? And oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, he knows everybody, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. Yeah, it is. And how old is he? He will be 85 in August. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he's up there. Yeah. Okay. And what kind of um, advice or recommendations would you give the children of today, the youth, things that you think they might be do, they should be doing? Mm -hmm. Well, I think education is very important. I didn't have much of it, but uh, I wish I had. I had more. I got a GED and everything, but it still isn't isn't the same as a regular high school education or more, you know, it's, mm -hmm. you should get more, as much education as possible. I keep telling my kids that, <laughs> but they all graduated from high school anyway. Rod's the only one that graduated from college, university, mm -hmm. but he made good use of it. Mm -hmm. He worked for the tribe. And uh, he worked for the tribe, I think, 60 years before he died. Do you remember any um, special foods that your parents cooked? Well, it was mostly vegetables, potatoes and beans, and uh, we always had carrots and beets. But, uh, yeah, I think potatoes were <laughs> the most popular things in our family. Okay. And chickens. We always had a lot of chickens. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Everybody seems to have chickens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we, well, they're good, you know, for the meat and for the eggs, too. Yeah. So. And uh, we always sold some and used most of it, you know, for yeah. ourselves. Where did your parents do most of their shopping at? Well, uh, my mother used to do it mostly at uh, Freedom De Pere, very seldom to Green Bay. And they went to Moss's a lot and Oneida, Morgans and Traders. Mm -hmm. So they went all over. And Seymour, too, they went to Seymour. But very seldom to Green Bay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was a big deal when we went to Green Bay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big city. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did, your, did your parents make um, corn soup and cornbread? Mm -hmm. Did they do all of that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my dad is the one that made the corn soup and the cornbread. My mother never did make the... Corn oh, no. soup or cornbread. He always oh. did that. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, she did everything else but but that. She'd yeah. help him, you know, mm -hmm. with it. But she never did everything. Did she make a lot of bread? You mean regular bread? Yeah. yeah. Mm, oh, yes. Every other day she made 12 loaves. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Every other day? Every other day. Because mm -hmm. we used it for everything. Yeah. My dad had a lunch, lunch box, and us kids all had lunch boxes. And then we use it for the meals, so she we use a yeah. lot of bread. A lot of bread, mm -hmm. I guess so. <laughs> yeah. That kept her busy. Huh? It sure did. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you didn't have you just said you didn't you didn't have any um electricity or running water, then you just had the outhouse you said I yeah. yeah. And we didn't have that until we moved to when I was about ten years old when we moved to the ten acres uh, that my folks bought from Jesse Cornelius on Tip Road there. Uh, then we had a pump, and that was a big relief, you know, we yeah. got, had all kinds of water, and our neighbors used to get water from us then. Oh, okay. Yeah, we used, we used to carry water in, you know, they, 
we had our own water, that was good, and then we got electricity. I don't know if you remember Vernon Johnson, mm -hmm. but he did the electrical work and oh, okay. hooked up our place with electricity, and well, that was great. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Nothing like electric lights, huh? Mm-hmm, yeah. The kids take it for granted, but boy, it was something for us. Mm -hmm. It was really great. Yeah. Is there anything else that you can think of that you'd like to tell us today? I can't think of anything. I think I told you more than I thought I would. <laughs> <laughs> you remembered more than you thought you yeah. could? Yeah. <laughs> mm. You guys got any questions back there? Mm -hmm. that I no? Okay, well, we want to thank you for doing this interview with us. Mm -hmm. And in about three weeks, we'll get you a copy of the video. Okay. And then the other one will be kept at the museum in the, the tribe's archives over there oh. until, until they get the program going that they want to use it for. Oh, so. okay. Yeah. Did Josie do an interview? Mm -hmm. Yes, oh, she did. Good. Yeah. I'll have to see hers. <laughs> 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 She's so sick, I oh, don't yeah. want to oh. get near her now. Yeah. You know. yeah. I try to avoid it. Oh, yeah, contact. you shouldn't uh, be in contact with her, mm -hmm. especially since you got the diabetes. Mm -hmm. Dialysis. It always seems like you're kind of weak mm -hmm. yeah. once you get on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We always get shots early in the fall. Yeah. October, I think it is, that they come along and offer shots at yeah. the dialysis center. And oh, okay. Yeah, they give it to us early. Is that for flu shots? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. I always get it. Some people don't like it. They say they, it makes them sick, but it never made me sick. Uh -huh. I, you know, I, yeah. I want the flu shot every year. Yeah, so. well, that's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm.